Baba? Yes, Elizabeth. Who is the kid in the picture? This is the picture of San Abanoub. And what is this red pipe? Each church usually has a pipe which is called relics. It has a part of the body of a saint. Since we are in St. Abanoub Church, the relics here have a part of his body. Who is St. Abanoub? Great question. Let's open the Synexarion and read his story. What's the Synexarion? It's the stories of saints. Each day there is a different saint or feast to commemorate. What does commemorate mean? Commemorate means to remember and celebrate. When we read the Synexarion, we remember the lives of the saints and we celebrate with them their departure and feasts. We also remember other events in their lives so we can learn from them to go to heaven like them. On the 24th day of the blessed Coptic month of Abib, the church celebrates the martyrdom of Saint Abanoub. He was martyred a long time ago in the year of 303 AD when he was 12 years old. 12 years old? Wait, what does martyred mean? It means someone sacrificed his life for believing in Jesus Christ. San Abanoub was raised by Christian parents from the city of Nehesa in Egypt. He loved God with all his heart. And one day he went to the liturgy and heard the priest encouraging the believers, confirming them in the faith and warning them from worshipping idols. The words of the priest stuck with San Abanoub and he decided to give all that he had to the poor. After that he went to the governor of Samanud and confessed that he was a Christian. The governor tried to be a friend with him and tried to convince him to leave his faith. Oh no, did he? Did he leave the faith? No, he did not. San Abanoub refused. The governor was so mad at him and he hurted Saint Abanoub. But the angel of God came down and healed him. The governor then threw him in prison. While in prison, Saint Abanoub agreed with some Christians to declare their faith and received the crown of life. He saw an angel coming down to place crowns upon the martyrs. Wow, he saw an angel! The governor then decided to take him to another governor of Etrib, which is another city. He hung him upside down on the ship that they were on. As the governor sat to eat and drink, the glass in his hand became a stone. Then the governor was not able to move his legs, and the soldiers that were with him could not see. The angel of God came down, released and healed San Abanoub. Because of this, the soldier and the governor of Samanud became Christians, and when the boat arrived, they confessed their faith before the governor of Etrib, and they all received the crown of martyrdom. The governor of Etrib got angry and decided to hurt San Abanoub more. Why doesn't the governor just give up already? After the governor hurt San Abanoub, the angel of the Lord healed him. I knew he would get healed. After seeing this, many people believed in God and they got martyred. Many other people tried to convince San Abanoub to leave the faith. No matter how much they hurt him, he would refuse, and God sent an angel who came down and healed him. Many people believed in Jesus Christ as their only God, and became Christians. After seeing what San Abanoub went through, and they also received the crown of martyrdom, the governor decided to throw him in a pit full of snakes and serpents, but he was not harmed. After that, the governor hurt him more and more, and finally San Abanoub received the crown of martyrdom. Wow, Baba, he's so young and so brave. There are so many churches that have the name of San Abanoub. The most famous one is in Samanot city in Egypt. 
Saint Abanob also did so many miracles because he has a great intercession in front of God. May his blessings be with us all and glory be to our God forever. Amen. I'm going to tell my friends this story. I can't wait to learn about a new saint.